Welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. I am 19 years old and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a pretty good Goodwill Outlet bins haul for you. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, if you're curious about my background, it looks like I'm in a campground, but um, I actually live on five acres of property and this is our RV that we are going to sell. So here, let me just show you. That is the driveway and then there's my house. So I've gotten questions before about the background. We have um, a creek also. So that's what the water sound is in the background. Um, anyways, I can see my dog staring at me through the window. Um, all right, so let's just, let's just hop right into it. Um, okay, what did I find? What is, let's just get into the hall here. Um, okay, so I was there for quite a while and I found, I think, 100 pounds of stuff. Um, anyways, some is bread and butter, which I probably will start with, and the rest, there's some pretty good stuff in here. So, first is this Lucky Brand, um, really sheer, lightweight blouse. Um, super cute. Lucky Brand sells super fast for me, and I thought this was like a classic piece by then. Um, I will be putting stuff on the, um, picnic tables just to kind of sort stuff out here. Okay, this is an Eileen Fisher size medium, nice wool blazer. So I have sold the same piece before in like a darker gray. So these sell super well. This is 100% merino wool and has like a snap button closure, super nice. So I was happy to grab that. Okay, next is a brand I absolutely love to sell. This is Cool, and this is a size medium. Really nice crew neck, or maybe that's a mock neck, um, pullover. And this is the Alfpaca, which is like their, one of their style names. <laughs> um, and it's like a fleece. These do super, super well for me. I believe this would be men's, but I'm not totally sure how to tell. Um, either way, men's and women's from Cool sells super well for me. Okay, this was a new to me brand and turns out to be Anthropology. Um, it's called Isabella Cinder. This is a size small. I just thought the tag kind of looked nice. Um, and this was a really cute, like, plaid button down but the cuffs have like a different fabric I, which I thought was cute and the inside RN number isn't the 66170 which is the anthropology RN number so maybe only some of their pieces are sold anthro I don't know I did look it up and most people on Poshmark were selling that brand under anthropology so we will just see um it's a little chilly out here Anyways, this is a Prana size medium, like puffer vest, and it has a really nice fuzzy, like upper. Super nice, cozy, super cozy. I love selling Prana. Um, Prana and Cool, both of those brands, I just, they sell so well for me, like fast. Um, and this is really cute. Um, usually I can get 35 to 40 for Prana jackets. Um, okay, these I could have sworn were Lululemon the whole time I was at the bins. Um, but then I found the little, where, <laughs> well now I can't find it. See, that's how difficult this was to find. I know, oh, it's right here. Fabletics, little symbol. Um, but these are like a seamless crop legging, which... These tend to do pretty well for me. It's pretty stretchy. Um, they feel like Lululemon. I think I could get probably 20 to 25 for those. 
Um, again, like I said, this is a lot of bread and butter to start, and then I will show you the, the better stuff. Um, cause yeah, here's a J. Crew. This is just like a boy plaid shirt, which I think that is women's though. Um, yeah, fifteen to eighteen for that. A lot of J. Crew stuff sells between like the eighteen to thirty dollar range for me. Oh, this is super cute. So this is Madewell, size extra small. Um, and it's a sweater, but it has like these cute little pom-poms on them. And yeah, I think I mention in every haul that I find Madewell sweaters. Um, and I found another one. So this one's really cute. Glad that I found that one. And then this is just a Zara basic pair of shorts. I wouldn't typically pick these up, but it is the season and they're super lightweight. <sighs> Little shorts. I think these are called hot shorts or something. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like they're called hot shorts, that style. Um, okay. These are a pair of cabbie jeans, size six. These are a deep maroon purple corduroy pant size six and oh they're skinny um I actually do pretty well with cabbie jeans and pants so I think I can get 25 to 28 for these um okay what were these these are a pair of um oh I just wanted to mention I do have allergies and <laughs> Whenever I'm outside, like, I get, like, kind of sniffly. So, if you're bothered by that, then I'm sorry, but can't help it. <laughs> um, okay, these are Pilkro in the letterpress, size 30. Um, Pilkro doesn't sell as well for me as it used to, but these are size 30, which I thought was a good size. And they're a cute red color. Super stretchy corduroy, which I liked. Um, and these are the Serif Fit. Um, and these need to be washed. There's a little bit of some smudging. What's the word? Not smudge. Smudge? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not on my game today with words. Okay, these I was super excited about. Um, these came out in a new bin. And they look like this with a raw hem. And they're mother jeans. So you can usually tell because they have the M's on the pockets. Because when I pulled them out, they didn't have the little typical um, brand thing there. Um, but I also saw that. And mother jeans sell super well. I could probably get 50 to 75 for these. And I that's a big range. But I do have to look at the style. Because that definitely matters. These are size 27. And they're the Rascal Ankle. That's what they're called. <laughs> um, so... I don't know. I didn't look up comps, but if they're mother jeans, you don't even really have to look up comps at the bins, in my opinion. Okay. This is a Show Me Your Moo Moo, size small, green. Oh, I thought it was a maxi dress, but it's actually a jumpsuit. Look at that. So cute. Size small. Yeah, jumpsuit. Wow, that is really cute. Um, not my size, but I would want to keep that if it did fit me. So cute. Um, I think that should sell well for like wedding season. It's definitely a good guest outfit. Um, all right, this is, oh no, I did not look this up, oops. Probably shouldn't have gotten this. Maybe I'll just send it to thread up because it's new with tags. It's called B of. I don't know. It feels kind of cheap. You know, it's one of those things I threw in my cart and forgot to look up. That might have happened a couple times in this haul. So, yikes. Oops. It happens. Um, okay. These are a pair of Zara jeans. Um, Zara Basic. And they're just like a skinny jean, 
dark wash and they have a cute little zip at the ankles um i don't know these ones are pretty simple sorry the birds are going crazy this one's pretty simple so probably 25 and those are just rough estimates oh this was so cute i'm really excited to show this so this is vintage bloomingdales size four and i think this is like the cutest thing ever i'm gonna button it so you can get the full effect um look at this little blazer with like it says strawberries farm fresh so cute i feel like this might be linen um 100% linen yeah i think i can sell this based on style and it is vintage bloomingdales which is you know a selling point um i think that should do pretty well it is very cute um next is this madewell sweater size small one of their classic you know waffle knit what are these called i've sold this so many times i don't know i don't remember but it's a good one okay this was a new to me brand and it actually ended up being a good brand it's called snap on um, and it's this huge like bomber jacket quilted interior and looks like this comps on ebay were like 75 dollars so i decided to grab that it is pretty heavy it probably paid about three dollars for that one but it's definitely worth it because of the comps and it's a new brand I wanted to try out. Um, this is a Wilfred 100% silk size medium little tank top and Wilfred is sold at Aritzia, which is a very expensive brand and that was super lightweight. So happy to find, what was this? Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is a new to me brand also, um, but I actually just picked this up based on, well, the fabric content. So this is called, I don't even want to pronounce that, <laughs> I don't even know, size medium. It has 50% cashmere and 50% silk, and it is a cable knit sweater. So I think it might be vintage too, so I thought that was cute. And I will list that based on like the silk and cashmere um, uh, fabric content. Okay, this is inside out, but it's just theory size medium. I don't typically pick up theory unless I'm at the bins. And this actually is 100% merino wool. So grab that. Not super interesting, but definitely grab that at the bins. Okay. This is one of my favorite brands, my favorite activewear brands to sell. It is called Oisel, as you can see there. And these are a pair of like little running shorts. Um, yeah, they're really cute. They're size eight. And these sell really fast for me from like 28 to 32. So I was happy about that. Um, oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite pieces from the whole haul. Okay, definitely a bolo. This is Ibex and it's new with the tags. So from what I've heard, Ibex is no longer in business. So to find this new with tags is kind of insane. It's 100% merino wool and they're a pair of pants. So nice. Uh, you know, I probably could get anywhere from $75 to $85 for these. Um, of course, I'm going to look up comps, but they are new with tags, and this brand is super sought after. So, wow, was I excited to find that. <laughs> um, this is cloth and stone, size medium. Sleeveless chambray dress, so cute. Um, cloth and stone makes so much chambray, I've noticed. Um, and that one's cute. Sometimes it's sold at Anthropology, but not always. Um, Urban Outfitters, so a small little sweater, really cute with like a, I don't know, kind of a balloon sleeve, but not really. Um, 
basic sweater. I shouldn't be picking up sweaters right now, but I couldn't help myself. And what's next here? Okay, so I grabbed this based on style. This is just Guns N' Roses, and it's not vintage or anything. It's just a t-shirt size small. So that was cute. Um, this is a Lululemon striped sports bra. These are super good sellers for me. And this is a size... I don't even know. Well, can't find the size dot, but I'm gonna say probably a six. I'm not totally sure though. I'm gonna have to measure that, I think. Um, okay, and then this is a new brand that I didn't look up either. Ernest Alexander, New York. No idea. Again, one of those things that I forgot to sort in my cart. Oops, happens to the best of us. So I ended up with that. Um, this is a Lucky Brand, size 1X, cardigan sweater. 1X is great, and Lucky Brand cardigans sell super well. Has, like, cute little fringe down the seams, and I just think this should sell pretty well. So I grabbed that. And then this is a new-to-me brand as well. It is called Charles Henry. This is a size small, and... I think this is also sold at Anthropology, if I remember correctly. It is a dress with like a cutout detail, belted, really cute, perfect for the season. Um, let's see. And I did pick up uh, quite a few pairs of shoes, which I will show in a video coming up soon. Um, I just wanted to make that a separate video. Um, okay, this is the brand called Geiger which I have sold before and it sells really well. This is a vintage little wool blazer jacket, purple. The buttons are really pretty. And um, yeah, thought that was cute and fun. This again, bought for styles, styles, style, might keep it. Peanuts, little washed out crew neck. Thought that was cute. Um, okay, this was a fun lucky brand. So this is size large. And this is like an embroidered sweatshirt with like a um, square neckline. Isn't that cute? Super embroidered. I really thought this was gonna be Johnny Wes, but it isn't. Um, but definitely cute there. And then what's next? trying to keep all my ducks in a row. Okay, this is Free People. Oop. Free People size medium. And it's not buttoned right now, but it buttons like the front and it is like a brown tan maxi dress. So cute with little ties at the sleeves. I think this should do super well. This kind of has like Doen vibes, that brand Doen. Um, but it's free people. So that was cute. Alrighty. This is a Madewell size small. This needs a pill, deep pill. Um, but it's a really cute black sweater with look at these like tiered sleeves. Bell sleeve ish kind of thing. Really cool. Thought that was fun. Um, okay, another pair of Fabletics leggings. These are the Power Hold, which tends to sell better for me than just any other Fabletic legging, and they have a side pocket, which is great. Love side pockets. Okay, this is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. Definitely something to look out for. This line from Ralph Lauren is no longer made. This is a size large. And it is actually a really heavy cardigan, um, Aztec, but I thought this was just super cute and I think this should sell well. Um, people love denim and supply. Here's another Madewell, size medium. Another little sweater needs to 
be depilled. Um, okay, this is a super adorable Hannah Anderson dress, size 140. It's really adorable with all of these different flowers on them, plants and flowers, and a little tie on the back. This would have been really cute for Easter, but unfortunately that has already passed. Um, so yeah, these are a pair of J. Crew size 2 pixie pants. Really just plain but cute. Um, this is another little Urban Outfitters. What is this? A skirt? Top? Oh my god. Ugh. You know, I actually have no idea, but let's just say it's a skirt. <laughs> let's just assume this is a wrap skirt. Okay, cute. This is a Madewell size small little velvet mock neck shirt. This one's super cute as well. This is a pair of PacSun jeans, size large. I really like this style, so I might actually keep these. They're like a carpenter pant. Cargo, I mean. Not carpenter. Cargo pant. Um, this is a Eileen Fisher, size medium. Purple mock neck long sleeve shirt. Pretty simple, but thought I would grab that. And then, what is, I'm trying to remember what I grabbed here. Okay, these are a pair of Zara jeans with like a splatter print all over. Um, so that was cute. All right, next is a, I think this was the first thing I found. Little pair of Lululemon spandex bike shorts. Um, seamless kind of style. Cute, cute. All right, now I gotta grab the other stuff that I got. All right, now I have a whole nother pile here from the back seat of my car. These are a pair of New It Tags Spanx, which is great. Size so extra large. And these were $108, which is actually insane. I did not realize they retailed for this much. These are like a kind of a coated legging, jigging pant. Super nice. I think I'll list these for about 55 and see what happens. Maybe more because those are new with tags, but we'll see. Okay, this is a Citron size 1X, 95% silk little blouse. Citron is actually a pretty good brand. Um, and this being 95% silk and a size 1X with a really cool like pattern, maybe want to buy it. So that came home with me. Um, okay, this is just a Nordstrom brand. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it's a size extra large and new with tags. This retailed for $170. Okay, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's a little purple blazer. I don't typically pick up this brand, but it was new with tags. Thought it was kind of cute, so I grabbed it. All right. These are super nice. These are a pair of Madewell jeans. And they're the perfect vintage jean. In a size, I don't know, because it is, oh, there it is, <laughs> size 32. It's actually tucked under. So this is the perfect vintage jean, size 32, in like a washed black color, which I think is really a cute color for Madewell jeans. I will have these probably around 40 to 50. Um, I think that should sell pretty well. Oh, my allergies are so bad. <sighs> All right. These are a pair of figs, size extra small dogger pants. And I did find the matching top. However, it had like the hospital branding on it. So I just left them behind. Um, these are a jogger style. Fig sells super well for me. It is a scrubs brand. So yeah. Okay. I grabbed these knowing about the puckering on the front. Um, these are made well. 
10 inch high rise skinny says 27 but I think I can still sell them for 20 to 25 dollars I know about this puckering and there's a raw hem super cute so yes those are somewhat damaged but no holes so or steam all right then I hit this like little bin of um Aritzia which I will I don't know if all the pieces are together but here's one these are Wilfred size six and these are just polyester little trouser pants wide leg really cute Willis about 40 to 50 dollars there um And then there's this little Wilfred extra small tank top. Pretty cute, like a high-low hem. Um, and then I actually found a couple Wilfred scarves. Where is the tag? <laughs> I swear I just saw it. Here it is, Wilfred. And this is a really cute scarf. Kind of feels like I might have some cashmere in there. Not sure. And I grabbed that one and I know there's another one but not sure where it is oh here's a T Babaton which is also Aritzia size 8 pair of pants these ones are really cute like a trouser pant um yeah polyester as well um okay this is a sanctuary size medium blue star printed tank top. I don't think it's a dress, but it is pretty long. Um, sometimes that's that brand is sold at Anthropology, but not all the time, but I do like picking it up. Um, oh, here's the other, um, here's another Wilfred. This one is 100% wool and it's another scarf. So cute. I might just lot this up with the other scarf and sell them together. Okay, this is a Madewell, says medium, little shirt. This one's cute with, there's like a button down the back. <laughs> cute, cute. All right, so these are a pair of American Eagle jeans with like really cute checkered print. I liked these, probably 20 to 25 for those. Um, this is a Carhartt hoodie. Love to find that in a size medium. These can sell super well, really fast sellers for some reason. Um, yeah. Okay, this is one of the most exciting finds, but it's not the most exciting find. This is the brand Macage or Macage or whatever. <laughs> M-A-C-K-A-G-E. And this is a really nice wool jacket. So nice. This was just laying on top of the bin with, um, with that new tag Spanx. And I'm like, why would you throw those two things back? I don't know. It looked like someone had just put them there. So <sighs> happy to find that. I think I'm gonna sell, send this into the real reel. Uh -huh. I'm going to send this as well. This is a Mammoth size large hoodie. Mammoth is really expensive and the real real does take it. So I'm going to send that there. This is a Reformation white little t-shirt. Um, what size is this? Small. It's just a basic t-shirt, but it's still Reformation and I had to grab it. So, yeah, that one might need a wash, like a good bleach. All right, this is super cute. Moth, size medium, wool, like trench jacket. This one's really cute as well. Like a pink, nice pink color. Um, this is the brand Paul Smith, size medium. This is a men's shirt with like this cool cuff. 
Um, what else? Oh, look at this. Another thing for the real rail. This is Burberry Brit. Um, cute Novacek dress with, yeah, purple, or not purple, pink. <laughs> so that was cute. Happy to find Burberry at the bins. This is a Lululemon size 12 pair of leggings. Um, I think these are Align leggings. They're very soft. And um, cute print. So nice. Very buttery soft. And very stretchy as well. Okay. What is next here? I don't know. Oh, these are a pair of Zara jeans. Size extra small. And these are really cool. Like, tapered but really stretchy waist. I thought those were really cute. Um, so I did grab that. What else? Um, this is a really old Urban Outfitters skirt. It's like vintage maybe, kimchi blue size uh extra small i just thought it was really cute and kind of a current style that fabric is just adorable so i grabbed that obviously i don't even know why i have to say that because i grabbed all this stuff <laughs> this is a lululemon tank top whatever these don't sell very well for me anymore but i did grab that just because at the bins i'll grab lululemon um this is nike dry fit size medium nice pair of joggers these also sell really well the joggers from Nike um, what is this this is a really cute kimono um, cover-up I think it's just a boutique brand I just thought this was really cute with like a wide sleeves um, so I grabbed that one all right, these are a pair of We the Free, Free People, it says 28, a wide leg kind of pull-on pant, super cute, these sell really good. Um, here are a pair of AG jeans, the bow slouchy skinny, these are distressed, kind of a boyfriend fit cute jeans. Love finding AG. Those sell well. For me, what is this? This is a Wilfred Free size small little bodysuit. So again, Aritzia. Ribbed brown. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, he, if you want to see the best piece in this entire haul, here it is. First time I've ever found Alexander McQueen. <gasps> so I texted my rep at the Real Real and she said that they would price this anywhere from $400 to $1,000. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to send it into the Real Real. Um, I think they'll be able to sell it for more than I can. <laughs> um, so, yeah. These are a pair of Title IX joggers they're new with tags these retail for $79 um I like selling title nine actually I've had some pretty good luck recently with them so grab that here's a pair of Madewell jeans inside out but they're just black skinny jeans these are the road tripper and the size 26 so that's a good style the road tripper is a good one okay here are another pair of we the free pull on pants they're very wide leg denim really cute okay so this was a new to me brand but it's new with tags and I looked it up it's called Zelly for she size 2x and these actually do super well um, comps are like 50 to 60 dollars and this is a really cute ruffle skirt so I just thought this might do well and it's new with tags so I thought that was cool uh, American Eagle, size 8, 
cute, cute, distressed, skinny jeans. Here's another Madewell tank. I'm not even gonna try and get this fixed because that might take forever. Um, so that's just a tank top. Those ones do better, the ones with the built-in bra that you can like see. This is a Patagonia, you can't even really, it says extra small base layer. Now I'm trying to like whip through all this stuff because there is so much. Um, Madewell, size medium. Cardigan, really nice. This, oh, this is so beautiful. Everlane, size medium. And this is a cashmere sweater. I think I've sold the same sweater, but in a different color, maybe. Um, it's just, I wish you could feel it through the camera. It is has alpaca in it, actually. So luxurious. So that was an exciting find. Here's another um, Lululemon tank top. This one's really outdated. I don't even, I probably shouldn't have grabbed that one, but you know, I ended up with it. Um, so yeah. Okay, this was a gamble because I don't know how this is gonna do, but this is 100% wool Abercrombie & Fitch size extra large sweater, Argyle print. I picked it up because, you know, their documentary is trending and I don't know, maybe people want to be buying Abercrombie. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that brand though, so I don't know. <laughs> this is J. Crew size 10, but this is just like a linen top that should sell well for about 15 to $18. This is a Brooks Brothers size extra large. 100% merino wool men's sweater. I'm trying out this brand. I've never sold it before, but I have heard people say it sells well on eBay. So that's where I will try it. Okay, there's just a couple more pieces here to show. And then I will wrap this video up and not keep you here for too long. This is a Madewell size medium star printed sweater. It might be shrunk a little bit, so I'm gonna have to use my conditioner in the bathtub trick to just kind of stretch out the fibers. Um, this is an Eileen Fisher extra, extra small shirt, kind of a boxy fit. This one's cute. And then last piece I will show are this pair of I'm not ending on a high note, really. These are just ex officio size small um, pants, but I do really like selling this brand. It sells really well for me. Um, let me know if you guys have ever sold ex officio. It sells like in like the $25 to $28 range. Oh, there is this. Um, these are a pair of scotch and soda pants. Men's trousers. So yeah, that is my Goodwill Bins haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite piece from this entire haul? Mine was definitely the Alexander McQueen, but I also just like everything that I got. So yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.